Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a fall collaboration with Nailstar Aura. And I've started off with my base coat and this beautiful polish from Blush Lacquer called Cha Cha Cha. And it's a one coater. And it's going on smooth as silk. This was one of my polishes I got from the last hollow hookup box. It's just gorgeous. I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat and get it to dry down so we can do some stamping. Today I'll be stamping with Funky Fingers Gesso. It's their white cream and then Funky Fingers Dark Night, the black cream. I'll be using my new Conad stamper and scraper and this Bundle Monster Plate 707. I'm just going to pull some of this tree image. I'm going to be using the tree and the leaves off of this plate. I'm going to do some double stamping. There we go. And I'm cleaning my, my stamping plate off with pure acetone. Now we're going to go in with some of the white. These funky finger polishes just really stamp great. I love that you can walk up in a store and buy them. You don't have to order them online and wait for them to arrive. I will leave a link for Nailstar um, Aura's channel. I'd love for you to go check out her video see what she came up with for our collab. We just wanted to do something fall inspired this time around. Making quite a mess there, aren't we? The stamper's picking up the images just really good. I haven't had any issues with it. So now we're going to start with the double stamping. On the nails that I've already got black stamping, I'm going to go on top of it with white and vice versa. There we go. could not wait to use this polish from Blush, this cha-cha-cha. I knew it would probably be the first one out of that batch that I tried. And a fall manicure, just perfect. And I am totally out of frame. We'll be back. There we go. last one. So there we go. <clears throat> nope, one more. And then we've got to do some cleanup. Forgot about the thumb. Hmm. So we're going to do a little bit of cleanup with some tape to get up as much of that as we can before we go in with our acetone and cleanup brush. There we go. And here is the final cleanup. Not a whole lot to do after using the little tape trick. 
There we go. I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat and get it to dry down. And I'm going to be sure to cap my ends so that this manicure lasts a little bit longer. Gonna break out Woody. Get some of that excess off the side. So here we go. Here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.